Hello, this is Slata Brouwer and you are watching Violin and Viola TV. And in this episode I'm going to teach you how to play the Ave Maria by Schubert. Um, I will link to the sheet music below uh, and it's from freegigmusic.com. It's a very nice website with a lot of free uh, sheet music for uh, several uh, uh, types of ensembles, it's for quartets, uh, for violin du uh, duets and whatever you uh, like. Uh, well, this is the Ave Maria by uh, Schubert um, and what I want you to do is all the time uh, imagine the uh, accompaniment because um, uh, you might tend to play this really freely and in the end you can do but try to play it solid the first a uh, couple of times so you know how the rhythm is and you know how to play with this uh, uh, accompaniment um, then uh, you have first two bars of nothing then you can listen to the uh, accompaniment uh, and then uh, well play it very there is molto legato so play it really smooth you might want to listen to a couple of recordings from uh, singers playing this so if you are playing this kind of imagine uh, how you would sing it, because that's very important, otherwise it becomes very uh, kind of stiff or kind of uh, etude-like or something. Uh, well, there it goes. I go, uh, I slur the end of uh, bar number three, so that's the first bar that you are playing. Uh, and uh, count very slowly, count in eighths if you're counting, or if you're using a metronome, put it on the eighth uh, notes, which are also very slow as this is a molto adagio so it's really sh slow uh, uh, piece uh, i do some third position uh, thingies here but i believe that it's possible to do everything also in first position so if you are just playing the first position you want to play this piece it's possible too i do some suggestions to play a couple of things in the third position but you are of course uh, totally free to ignore it uh, by the way, you're totally <laughs> free to ignore every, anything I say, but uh, mainly this. So don't think, oh, I don't know how to do the third position, so I can't play this piece. Uh, so don't worry about that, you just play it in the first position. Uh, then uh, we start with the first one. And here I go for that uh, F sharp, I go to the uh, third position. And the first note, so the D, is uh, less long than the F sharp. So mind that this D is three counts if you're counting in eighths, and the F sharp is three and a half because you only have one sixteenth note after it. So you go something like one, two, three, four, and two, three, four. So now I'm counting, so it turns a little bit off. So uh, it's very long, that F sharp, so don't make it just as long as the D, make that little difference there, so... Two, rest, rest, and then I go on a bow, just like you, uh, uh, like it works. And all these little ornaments make them very small, so you have to play them in the uh, bar, so then you go... And play these four notes very firmly because you play it against six notes of the accompaniment. So you have to play them really so it's uh, four against six. Uh, so uh, don't try to play it together with your accompaniment because then it, uh, uh, it doesn't uh, really work. I go back to the first position here. So uh, I go. So with the C sharp I go back. I play with the second finger in the first position. Then I stay for a while in this uh, first position. So we go further. I slur this one. And you might want to play this F sharp after this. Uh, a bit too short, but it's one, two. Fourth finger. And here you have the six notes that you play together with the accompaniment. And for that it's easier to uh, slur all these six notes. So... Uh and again to 
together with your confidence, so keep your ears open. And an ornament, you have to keep it very, uh, yeah, very fast and that it don't doesn't take up too much time because otherwise you can't play these uh, sixth, uh, six notes with your, uh, uh, together with the accompaniment. That, that, that just uh, won't work. Uh, then uh, we go on. third position so in bar number nine I start with uh, the third position we go back there to keep those E's nice and uh, warm sounding with vibrato again uh, every time you see these uh, six notes then slur them so it's easier to play them with the uh, accompaniment and then uh, I start with upbeat of bar 11 and there I go back to the first position Because that uh, E string sounds very nice and bright, so that's for this piece quite uh, 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 suitable, I think. Then we have an upbeat for before bar number 12, and mind you, it's a 16th note upbeat, and so don't do the same as you did with uh, uh, with the eighth note upbeat. It's a little bit different, so it's a little bit shorter. You can make it a little bit of a glissando there. And then I stay in the third position. So I play this um, uh, D, C sharp D with the first finger. And I like to end this one very nice and soft. Go back to the first position again. Then of course you have to repeat the piece. I think it's kind of fuller when you uh, play it with the repeat. I think that's uh, that's uh, uh, a lot better. The accompaniment will end the piece uh, for you, but you have in the last bars you are playing, you have a little uh, a little echo of that, so that might be a little bit uh, softer. Uh, I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you like this kinds of episodes of Violin and Viola TV. Just tell me how you like it and if you want to see more of it or if you want to see other things. I'm very open for uh, these kind of ideas. Um, well, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye bye!